it's crystal with pineapple papers and welcome back to another process video um i am up for spiegel mom scraps today so um like you saw in the beginning of the video i am using the new smoothie mix made by um our own sparkler jody and i just knew this mix was so perfect with this photo and that was all i knew <laughs> Like I was like, okay, so I've got sequins and I have a picture. Now I need all the other stuff. So I decided to dig through my How to Kill a Kit with Style Kit for the month of June, which has a lot of the Maggie Holmes Gather collection. And I wasn't quite sure how that was going to work. Um, but I found this black and white plaid and I was like, oh, this is perfect. I have an idea. So I started with that. So that's going to be my background paper. And then I decided, okay, so I'm going to do a bunch of layering because that's what I love to do. I love lots and lots of paper layers. So I went through the six by six pad from the Gather Collection and pulled several pieces of paper. And I am just going to layer them up in no particular order. Um, I didn't want something that had like mainly a, a neutral background to be on another paper that was mainly neutral um, just because I felt they would kind of blend into each other. So I definitely made sure that I kind of alternated the colors um, of the paper. And so that blue plaid, I thought for sure was going to be like a pretty prominent piece of paper um, in my layers. Um, and I'm looking at the layout right now and you can barely see it. <laughs> so, you know, best laid plans don't always happen. That's just kind of where the where the layers went and I went with it. So yeah, this little piece and the other part of that little piece are the only two pieces that make it on. And the one that I put at the top is kind of covered with the, with the title anyway. So this picture is a couple years old. Um, it was when we went to Supercross in Anaheim and, um, it was kind of fun because it was actually on the baseball field and so I think it's the athletics field um, and so they had their trophy there so of course my son is hugely into baseball and so I took his picture with that I will go back and try and get some history on the trophy um, because I felt like that's kind of important to put on there. Not, look, here's my kid. It's 2018 and he's standing in front of a trophy, <laughs> which, you know, could totally work too. But, um, I like that anytime I take a picture, if there's some sort of historical value about it, that I want to include that information onto my layout. So, not only whoever gets to look at my layouts gets to look at, you know, the pictures of, usually it's my family, but also um, kind of the history behind the other things that are in the photo other than the people. So um, that will get done. I am going to use that journaling block that you see down there. Um, and that is from the Amy Tan collection, Shine On. So I have the ephemera pack. I've pulled a few things out of that. I have the journaling. I'm doing the title from that and um, a camera. And then I am going through a couple of the other embellishments that I have in this kit. I didn't stray from the kit actually at all. So I am going to add a couple of um, stickers. One is a blue label sticker and then... Um, one that says every day brings a new story and then a tiny word sticker that says hashtag good stuff and it is a little windy out today because it keeps 
opening and closing my shed door, so I need to get some WD-40 on that thing because I'm sure you can hear it swing and squeak. Um, hopefully you don't hear it slam though. So that is kind of the base of my um, layout. I do add one sticker from that Coco Vanilla sticker sheet, the, um, the little ruler, and put that over off to the left. And then I believe I am going to grab these cute little cameras. And I love these puffy cameras. These are like, I don't even know where they're from. They're probably freckled fawn, but they're like very nice, squishy puffies. Like they're quite enjoyable. I am going to go through the Maggie Holmes sticker book um, and see if there's anything else in there. It's, it's a great book. Um, but then I remembered I wanted to get a couple pieces of chipboard on first. So, um, I am going to get this cute little bird and mainly why I did the bird, um, was because of the blue. Honestly, I thought about the blue boy, but then I end up going with the bird. And, um, since I grabbed the bird, I decided to grab the feathers. So I'm going to tuck the feathers um, behind the big camera, not the nice squishy puffy one, <laughs> but the big paper die cut one. And, um, that is the only chipboard. Yeah. Just those three pieces. So I'm flipping through the sticker book, but the only thing that I'm actually going to pull is the word today and it's a clear sticker. So my title is going to be shine today. Um, I thought about adding some more gold in because there's gold in the shine, there's gold in the, the die cut piece, um, but I thought it was too much gold on gold. So I'm basically just kind of looking for a word, seeing if there's any stickers I want to add, but this is the only one and I got a few of them. So, I mean, unless I do a title of today, 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 they probably won't get used up this month. <laughs> so I am very happy with this centralized design of, of my photo. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. And then I'm going to add the true shine to this layout. Oh, after the second bird comes in. I don't know why, but the colors of the bird go really good with the sequin. So he had to, he had to come on too. And you know, I, one bird needed a friend. It needed to be two birds on this, on this layout. No, no lonely birds today. So immediately when I had picked out this paper, I, I had an idea of what I wanted to do with the sequins. So, um, I decided that I wanted to take a couple of the white squares and fill them in with the sequin mix. So I'm using my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, which I find I, I really do like it. Um, I do notice that it gets a little watery if it gets really hot. So you guys are probably super lucky and have scrapbook rooms inside, um, but it's been pretty warm here, so um, it kind of it, it, it's kind of a little liquidy when um, it gets too hot. So just kind of be aware of that. And then, so I poured my sequins into my new little dish, my new little sequin dish. Um, this came from my friend Amber, all the way from Germany. Um, so it has the castle that inspired was inspired or that Disney inspired Disney to make Sleeping Beauty's castle. So that is really cool. And so now I have two little dishes for my sequins. So I just add a little bit of glue and then with my crystal katana, which is my absolute favorite, um, jewel picker, I just pick the sequins and basically just try not to get two next to each other that are the same color, even though that happens. And Honestly, I'm totally good with that too. Like, I just love how this one turns out. So I only make you watch, 
one square. And then um, I go off camera and do several other squares. So here shortly I will show you what um, it looks like basically all done. So there it is. There are my super fun squares of sequins. I just love them. It like is so exciting to me. I, I just love how this turned out. So we do have a couple close-ups. Um, make sure you head over to the Facebook group. There is tons of inspiration and sign up for the newsletter where you can get a free cut file and get notified when there are sales. And if you need I mean, because we all need these sequins, head over and grab them and use my code CRYSTAL15 to save 15%. So remember to wear your crown. Bye.